Hello, and welcome back to chess. King Shotgun, Shotgun King, there we go. I, I, I got it right on the third try. Um, yeah, I'm having a rough time. It might be that I'm bad at chess. It might just be that I'm bad at this game. Who knows? Who could say? I'm sure you could say, but I think you'd be maybe rude to hazard a guess on that one. But you wouldn't be wrong. All right. Good first, good first round. That was good. I'm happy with that. Ritual dagger, remove two pawns, I one rook. The mo is, uh, I think, I want it to be good, but it's actually not great. I'll take the ritual dagger. We remove some pawns, which is actually kind of helpful in a way. I think that pawns were useful in previous, you know, modes. Not so much when um, you, you have to actually deal with them. Not, not that rooks are any better, to be honest. If we have, if we could get August presents, honestly, I'd be, I'd feel pretty good about our situation. Honest, I'm just gonna take some time and, and kill this last pawn just so I don't have to worry about it. One damage. Two damage. Remember, we're doing four in total. So if you're doing two damage, it means you missed half your shot. Taunting hop, beh. Piercing truth. Yeah, all right. I guess it's better than adding two knights. I hate this, but you know. Uh, we're not doing four damage anymore. So, uh, I'm, I'm, it's game over. <laughs> I can't do anything. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, this car, this, this piercing truth actually killed this run. A hundred percent. So, uh, that will be the last time I take that, ever. Um, I don't, and also just, just to be clear, I don't think it actually worked for us once. Like I didn't seem to take, do any damage through another enemy, which is the only thing it does for us. I feel like that card really needs a buff. It needs any reason for me to take it at this point. And I have none right now. So if it seems like I, I, I'm a little bit salty about that, I am. Because, that, you know, like, I understand there is a, both a negative and positive to taking every card. But when there's just a negative to a card, like, you get, not only does the, the enemy get a buff, but you get two debuffs. That starts to feel really, like, I, I get a bit tilted. Um, because what am I meant to do? Maybe that card's very good. Maybe you've had great effect uh, uses with it. Like, it's it's good if you have the firepower. But even if I had five or six or seven firepower, I don't know if I would take it. Certainly not going to take it when it's going to buff the knights. No thank you. I, I really don't know when I would want it unless I just had so much firepower that it didn't matter anymore. Okay, we can move here, and then the bishop is uh, kind of scuppered. Right. See, this is the problem with knights, is even with August presence, they're a problem. I mean, it makes sense, right? Right. 
Right, I, I was like, why didn't that pawn move? But it's it's obvious why they didn't move. So the the knight, the sorry, the rook can still um kind of ruin things for us. It can put us in check. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just kill this pawn here. Um and then I'm gonna move and do some damage to the king through that pawn. The rook shouldn't be able to put me in check here. It didn't, but uh, we're still in checkmate. <laughs> God damn it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of not playing correctly. <laughs> Yo. I'm determined. I am, I am determined. It's extra salt inducing when I have like the card I actually want. And I still can't catch a break. Alright, this is good. I was hoping maybe we could... I don't know why I thought I could... Uh, hurt the king through the bishop there. I did expect that, but that's okay. I was hoping I would do a little bit of damage to the king there, but that's okay. Yeah, like, look how close the pawns get every single time. I have like almost prioritized. Wow, both of these are awful. Extra soul slot, all right. We actually get a soul, so that's kind of nice. And I do prioritize the knights anyway. It's awful if we have um what's it called cavalry super bad but we don't have cavalry so it's not a problem right now okay i don't think the the rook can do anything so we should be okay i'm gonna start hitting the king uh, I'm a little bit worried about our situation here. I'm going to move here just so that the king doesn't move further downwards. The rook's going to move... Hmm, I just realized if I go there, there's every possibility the rook will go there. But I should be okay. Yes, because I can move here. And I feel like I should prioritize the uh, king. There's nowhere the rook can go right now, so I can continue hitting the king. There we go. That was good. I actually figured that one out. Now, I know what you're going to say, use your souls. I understand that, but the thing is, if I use my soul, I don't get another one for a while. So, I yes, use my soul. Uh, I really like Oz August Presence, but... Adding a bunch of pawns and then buffing them is not ideal. It does remove one rook, so maybe I could use my souls to jump over the pawns and then start hitting the king. But honestly, I feel like this is a better option. I understand with um, with this guy, whatever it's called. What's it called? Bodyguard. That's It's not great having three, three knights. But like I say, I already prioritized the knights, so... If I go here, the knight can get me. If I go here, can't go there, can't go there. If I go here, I should be okay. Nope, never mind. Uh, I think here is where I want to go, except for the fact that the pawn is going to make things difficult for me. So I'm not sure. I don't think they're, oh, okay, the pawn didn't do it, but the, the knight did, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just try and kill the knight. They have one health left, so I should be okay. Should be okay against the rook. Alright. Honestly, I'm gonna... make attempts to take out the rook. Now I just need to recover some ammo. Uh, 
I just I just want to like make sure I don't have anything else on the field I have to worry about. Maybe this is un unoptimal, but you know, like I could I could go straight for the 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 knight uh, the king, but like why not just make it so that I have a guaranteed win, right? And again, use your souls. Uh, well, like, I don't think that using our souls to play aggressively is actually sustainable. King is allowed to right-click to fire all loaded shells. Ah, uh, negative firepower. I just can't take it. I can't take any card that's going to reduce our firepower, especially since we never seem to get cards that increase our firepower. It used to be we did, but not since I started playing this game mode. So we have the moat. The moat is fine. It's it's okay. I mean, it stopped the rook from putting us in check there, so it can't be all that bad, right? We have a queen now to deal with. I do want to deal with that queen as soon as I can. There we go. If I go here, I should be fine. So now we just have to deal with the pawns. <sighs> so now we're gonna deal with some kind of piece. I guess I should have, um, I don't know. Should have just gone for the, the the king. Like, this isn't bad. I can deal with this. Why did the king move back? That's interesting. Alright. We're okay. We should be able to win. There we go. It does give you the guaranteed damage if you're right in front of them, which is nice. Oh, God. I can't take cavalry with bodyguard. Can't do it. Can play an extra turn after using a soul card. Well, since we actually have soul cards, that is actually useful. We have, like, an honest-to-goodness synergy now. Seems like forever. <laughs> uh, hate this. All right. What do you do? What do you do in this situation? <laughs> we did miss the horse completely. That was actually what I wanted to hit. I know we have our soul card. Can I? I I'm in check right now. Um. I don't want to just deal with that horse. Okay, that was risky, but I, I think it was right to take the risk. I want to take care of that queen. She's still alive. <laughs> She's still alive. Um, okay, what I'm thinking is I'm going to make a play for the king. Oh my god, really? Of course, the moat stops us as well, right? The moat is also a downgrade for us. Do I have militia? Oh my god. I, I have militia. And I think that's checkmate. They, they really navigated those pieces around to ensure that I, I couldn't do anything. Um, that's really frustrating. I, I'm sorry, that's... Wait, what? Oh, the rook can't move across the moat. Right. R the moat actually saved my life. 
It will not save my life in a second though. So I'm gonna use this soul to move and then take some shots on the king. Oh, are you kidding me? I, I still ruined it. I still ruined it. <sighs> Jesus. Jesus. I had, uh, I had every opportunity to pull that around. I wasn't getting very good cards, I gotta say. Like, I was making it work, but I, I don't like some of those cards. I, Moat, I know, saved our life, but, like, come on. It, the fact that it works for us as well, it just feels like yet another situation where it's like, well, I, I, I can't really do it. Uh, I'm already checkmated. Uh, uh, you know, like, I already have a lot of things going against me. I'm already buffing the enemy. Why are the cards that are supposed to help me also um, nerfing me? Well, that was dumb. I didn't mean to do that. Like, that seems unnecessary. IMO. Alright, we get we dealt with the rook. We can start hitting the king. I I should have reloaded on the spot. I didn't. Force of habit, honestly. There you go. I think I can do this. I just need to play perfectly and get lucky with some of these cards. Extra reduced um, fire arc would be nice. Pawns can walk two squares on their first move. That's awful. Remove one bishop, add two knights. I can deal with this. I hate adding extra knights. It's awful, but... And honestly, um, August Presence is great, but the knights are... It's kryptonite. No, no pun intended there. Not that there really even was a pun, but you know. So we dealt with the knights. That is our biggest problem. Dealt with. Interesting. Oh, that's right. August Presence. I don't know why I moved over here. So we can block the pawns from moving, which is nice. Honestly, I'm just gonna take a bit of time from over here. Block these pawns from, from moving. They get to kind of save up their movement, which is a bummer. Like, if they needed to move, they're still going to move. I'm just going to kind of do this back and forth bit. All right. So that pawn's going to get to move, but that's okay. All right, so that's a, a good way to kind of manipulate the situation a little bit. Moat, eh. Rooks, negative two HP, add two pawns, add one rook. This is not great. Remove one knight, add three pawns, increase pawn speed. Ah, uh, no. I don't, maybe, because I can block the, the pawns, so adding three pawns would be okay. I don't like the moat. I don't like it for a couple of reasons, mostly because I don't think it really helps us. It's like good in theory, but in practice, I, I don't think it actually does much for us. Also, why don't we never get firepower anymore? I gotta ask, is this part of hard mode? Is that you never get firepower? Also, why does the king wanna, like, why do they move back? I actually hit the king for three damage. That was the luckiest shot ever. Wow. The the king's AI feels like really good right now. Like they're not just trying to do damage to me or kill me. They're they're actually like moving behind stuff. Well, there's my firepower. There's uh, for for all of my uh, whining and whinging. There, there's two cards that would give us firepower. I'm definitely going to take Holy Gunpowder over uh, the Blunderbuss. 
five five, five power that's man that's gonna be a welcome change from like doing such reduced um, damage Course. Of course I ruin it right away. Oh my god. Good god. Why did I do that? Well, I really thought that with my increased firepower, I was for sure going to kill that horse. But I didn't. You really cannot depend on... Like, if you're even one tile away, you cannot depend on hitting an enemy. Like, you look at that. One tile away, I did one damage. You just have to... Uh, really work around that constraint. You cannot, um, you, you cannot be sure at, ever that you're gonna do damage. I, I mean, like there, I got did four damage. That was my max potential damage, which is incredible. But like, you're not gonna get that every time. All right. So learning some hard lessons today. Hate this card. Uh, Ritual Dagger is fine. I, I can deal with reduced range. It sucks a little bit, but um, I, I can deal with it. The the bishops having a bit more um, movement is honestly the biggest bummer. Now, we don't want to kill this knight because then that bishop will destroy us. We are in check. We are still in check. I mean, let's just go for the king, why not? Uh, uh, all right, um, pretty sure we're done. One damage, just come on. Yes. Clutch, clutch shot. Uh, almost, we almost ended everything there. Knights have a shield, hate it. Plus two fire range, I'll take that. Makes up for a reduced fire range and we have a little bit more now. So we, are, we have, all right, we're actually net positive now. Um, oh my god. This is the kind of situation I truly dislike. Okay, um... I don't think there's anywhere where that knight can go. So, I'm gonna try and split my shot there. Um... Yeah, I mean, I kind of saw that coming. All right, this is awful, and that's game over. I don't think there's a single thing I can do. I can try and shoot through this bishop. Nope. All right, all right. We're losing a lot of games. Very hard mode is, oh, it's very hard. I wish I could get the grenade. I, I passed up the grenade in one game and I kind of regret it because as much it was as it would like my logic was it would blow through our ammo yeah it sure would but it was it's a really nice um card and uh, I feel like I'm I'm not getting the really nice cards these days I miss them Okay, I need to take care of that pawn. It was, it, oh, cool, we're, we're still, oh no, we're okay. Luckily I had done some damage to the, the king, but I think we did get lucky there. Bishop and pawn speed, remove one pot and one knight. So, um, I mean, I, this is awful, but at least we do get some ammo regen from it. It means I am going to prioritize killing pawns.
That was very lucky. All right. That was a good shot there. See what happens here. I figured it was going to be something like that. All right. I'm just going to try. Oh, God. Please don't let me get checkmated by two pawns. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with the rook against you know maybe uh, wiser decisions. I'm gonna deal with that rook so I don't have to you know figure it out. I can just play dumb. I think if you can, you should add two bon add two pawns, add one rook. This isn't great. Look, look, kingly alms. Grenade. I did say that I wanted the grenade. Remove one bishop, add two knights. Let's do it. This just is so good. It is a very risky weapon, but it's so good. Oh, and that was such a good throw, too. Oh, all right. You can't, it's not, not on, uh, omnipotent. Oh, God, that was... It's a good thing that uh, knight moved there. Give me a second. Uh, all right. Should I even, like, try the grenade? Yes. The answer is maybe. All right, let's, uh, let's just take care of a couple of, a uh, couple of things here. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smooth brain it again. I'm sorry. If you want, if you've come here, uh, why can't I reload? That was weird. How come I couldn't reload there? If you've come here expecting or hoping for advanced chess shotgun king strategy, um, keep looking. Plus three ammo. I mean, I'll take it over increasing the king's health. If we, we just need to get lucky with a few grenades. A few well-bounced grenades. That puts us in check. I'm really, really... Grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Dev, <laughs> for not making the grenade bounce kill, like, uh, you know, account for an immediate death. That would just be really unfun to have to deal with. Okay, I need to deal with this queen. I need to deal with this queen. Kind of want to deal with this horse first, though. Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm not in. Not in a position to do that. Actually. Okay, we should be okay now to do some damage. I'm still okay. I'm not excited about what this next turn is going to look like because um, these horses are a problem. It's like the only place I can move to. Um, I'm looking like, it's looking like checkmate, like very, very much now. <laughs> I uh, I swear to God, I don't know. I don't know if I'm equipped to play this game on, on very hard mode. Like, I, I, I'm i trying real hard, but like, it's, it's a lot. And even when I get some nice cards, I, I'm still messing it up. All right, this is going to be my last attempt for the episode. I, I actually had the grenade, and I got really lucky with that first one, but um, not so much. You know, when there's a queen involved, not so much. I'm just going to, you know, hit some pawns. I don't, I don't think I want to waste time uh, hitting the rook. That was nice. Love that. Love that. Uh, yeah. Okay. We got we got lucky there. And just just barely had enough damage. Moat, elite gem. Remove one knight. Add two bishops. I can deal with bishops. Bishops are okay. And I get rid of a knight. Honestly, that's my favorite. No knights. My favorite. Let's start hitting some pawns. 
Let's hit the king, why not? Let's just like, go for it. Ooh, that, uh, that bishop really went for it as well, huh? Okay. Get out of here, knight. You didn't get out of here. You did not heed my request. Cannot kill the knight because then I will die. Can't go where I want to go. You know that uh, it's all coming up, Millhouse? I mean, you could say that. Because it, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Um, Alright, I can deal with this. Let's hit the king. Hit the king. The name of the game is Hit the King. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna move so that the pawn can't, or that bishop can't put me in check. So that I can continue hitting the king. Hit that king. Should be able to take them out. Good. Not great, but good. We're not, not doing great when pawns are getting promoted. That's not great. Hey, holy hand grenade and red book. Not great, honestly, because we have more bishops. So more bishops with that have been buffed, not ideal. However, I think I can still deal with this. Um, I don't like this because, yeah, that knight's going to move exactly there. So I want to move here. I That was ideal. Let's get rid of this knight. Oh, never mind. Get rid of this knight. <laughs> Alright, that worked out well. Let's get rid of those bishops. Let's get rid of more bishops. Okay. Okay, it's going well. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to just shoot this rook at... Oh, I forgot we, had, we have higher firepower. So we can actually one-shot rooks now. Which is just great. Right, I forgot that p bishops can move sideways now. Okay. Need to not forget crucial information like that. Alright, we should be okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Instead, we're going to be not okay. I, the king is actually playing intelligently, and you know what? I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need the king to be playing correctly. Please just, like, make a beeline for me so I can, can I put the shotgun right to your face? That's what I want. I need that. That's all I have going for me right now. Is that the AI is not intelligent enough to be making, like, clever moves. God. Okay, are we in checkmate? I think we are. I don't even if I uh, even the the luckiest grenade in the world wouldn't stop us. It's just all the bishops are exactly where they need to be. All right, well, that's going to do it for Shotgun King. I think forever. Uh, I think that marks the end of the series. I think um, after four or five or what? You have five episodes of me smashing my face against very hard mode uh, has resulted in basically no progress. I think that's a sign that uh, I, I, I'm just not, I'm not the guy. I'm not good enough. Sucks. I'd hate to think. I don't even want to know what king mode looks like. No shotgun, ever. You just don't have a shotgun. You just move with the king and, and you can't kill anything. That's what king mode looks like. All right. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content. And, uh, you know, my love for this game 
I, it's still there. I, I still like Shotgun King a lot. I just don't like very hard mode. I think that it's it, it tests the limits of the balance of this game. I, cert, I, I think that certain cards are just not good enough. And when you have uh, two choices of not great cards and you also end up buffing the enemy, you end up on this like not great kind of power scale where the enemy gets buffed way faster than you do. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, maybe the, I'm not making the best use of some of these cards, but it feels that way a little bit. Um, but in any case, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.